If you're an experienced golfer and you're not doing this with your hand position, you're missing out. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and today I'm gonna to share with you a little secret that a really good coach would notice, but you might not have heard before, and it has to do with where we position our hands at the top of our backswing relative to where we're at in life. So let's dive right into it. So I've got my live view set up right here. So I love live view, I got it down the line. Okay, they got the new version out here so you can actually have it a little bit closer. But you'll notice on the screen I got this red line on there, right? Red line is basically just kind of above the ball and kind of goes through my shoulder. Now that's just a reference point. And what we're gonna talk about here today is where our hands are at the top of the backswing relative to that red line. So I've got some, see how, see how my hands are kind of below that red line? All right, you can see that. See how my hands are above that red line? Okay, not necessarily good or bad, but really based on where you're at. So let's talk about a younger golfer. If you watch golf on TV, the major players in the game, you're gonna see a variety, but you're gonna see a lot of them when they take the club to the top, their hands are kind of low. See how it's down here? Now when the hands are low, let me just go ahead and hit a shot. I got my live view set up, I'm just gonna I'm gonna swing like the young guns, all right? Watch where my hands go. All right, I caught that a little thin, but what we're gonna see here, the live view captures it. It's gonna play back in streamless quality. That's why I love my, well, love my live view and working with it. Okay, see where my hands went there. See how they were below the red line. Now, why is that important? Well, when the hands are low and around, okay, you've gotta have a lot of rotation in the golf swing to get the club back to where you want. And also, the other thing too, a lot of golfers, as we get older, we don't have the same strength and flexibility that we had before. And when your hands are low, look at this right here, okay? When my hands are low, I don't get much length to my swing unless I have a ton of rotation, right? If I make the same length swing, but I move my hands higher, okay, that gives, look where the club's at there. See how high it is up and off the ground versus there, see that? Not because my swing's longer, just because of my lead arm position. So if you're in what I like to call my experienced golfer, I don't consider anybody old anymore. I'm over 50, Nick's laughing at me because he's a young gun. But as you get older, you've got to modify your swing a little bit. So I want you to feel, well, let me just show you. Here we go. So let's talk about the experienced golfer. When you swing the club back, and I'm going to give you a tip and a drill to do this, I want you to feel like your hands work more here and they work higher. See that? Boom. Let me just go ahead and hit one. I'm going to swing them straight back and up. There it was, that was pretty solid. He had a little bit off the toe. Here comes my live, he's popping back up. Let's take a look at it, see what we get. There it goes. Okay, that was pretty good. It was just above the red line. I ideally would like to see it a little bit higher. Now, what is that gonna do for you? What's the benefit? Well, when you get length to your swing, when you get your hands a little bit higher, what's gonna happen is it's gonna help your tempo and your rhythm and your downswing. It's also, for those of you who come over the top or slice, when your hands are higher, now they can drop to the inside. If your hands are low, you've got to really rotate to get that club back. So what's a little tip that I could give you next time you head to the golf course? Well, let me give it to you. But before I do that, you know me, I gotta ask you to subscribe and ring the bell, all right? And you know my favorite thing, tell us where you're from, what topics do you like, tell a friend about US Golf TV. We love hearing from you. I had some this morning, people from Finland, it was crazy, we got people from all over the world who are responding to our stuff, which is really fun to see. So here's the tip I wanna give you. What I want you to do, we, I wrote an entire book on this, it's called The Bad Lie, okay? This whole system, the vertical line swing system. I just want you to just, don't even swing a club, just move your arms. See how my arms are moving along that red line? And then get it a little bit above, and just feel that, okay? Now add some hip turn, boom, see that? Okay, see my, okay, see my knees? I didn't even plan on talking about this, but see the gap between my knees right here? That's one of the cornerstones of the vertical line swing system. And you'll see that in all the great players. Boom, there it is, see? So my arm swinging here, changing my knee flex, I'm gonna do a three setter, so here we go. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now, I got the feel, let's grab the club. Got my live view, let's recreate. Oh, that was the best one of the day, hands down. Let's take a look at it. Live view's loading it up. Here it goes, let's see what we get. Look for, the, look for the change in the knee flex, look for the hands, boom, that was it right there. So, this little tip right here, you've probably never heard before, and if you're an experienced golfer, it's gonna help you start playing better golf. 